Hey everyone, it's the Gadget Guru. Um, this is going to be a deck profile on the second Helping Out the Community video. Um, someone asked for me to build a skill drain deck. Um, let me figure out who did that real quick so I can give you a shout out. Uh, sorry, let me go here. Okay. Here we go. Uh, Randy ZX7. I'd like to suggest making an anti-meta deck that incorporates skill drain. Well, the best deck I could think of off the top of my head was Heroes, because Heroes can abuse the fuck out of skill drain. Um, so that's what I made. Now, the build is pretty simple. It's a 45. Um, it does only run 11 monsters, and a lot of people give me shit for that. But with all the searching and the dualities, like you really don't need more. Like... I debated running more, but I played five games, and I'll, and these games were competitive games actually. Um, against meta decks, two fairies, a twilight, and something else. So I mean, it was a lot more competitive than my last game, than my last deck I used, and I won all five. So I'll show you those and and let you guys be the judge. For the monsters, I went with Stratos and Triple Alias, just standard hero setup. They're the main thing of the deck. They work with Hero Blast and everything else, um, Gemini Spark, stuff like that. Honest, because it allows me to pump over any monster. If I have a Cyber Dragon or an Alias, it just gets right over it. Tangu, because it keeps bringing itself out, even under Skill Drain, which is amazing. Um, Rota and Double Emergency Call, to basically play three Rota. Um, now, a lot of people say three Rota is way too much with only four targets. And I guess I can kind of agree. But at the same time, it did well for me. So, I liked it. Um... If you guys disagree with it, then play your own build. This is my build. This is how I would play heroes. One Book of Moon for the control aspect. Triple Gemini Spark, obviously, for the control alias aspect. Triple Pod Duality, Double Smashing, uh, Dark Hole, and Monster Reborn. Now, I didn't play Heavy Storm because I play continuous back rows and lots of back rows, so Heavy Storm doesn't really help me. I didn't play MST because I don't like MST. Now, you can say whatever you want about that, but this is an anti-meta deck. I'm not running MST. I don't give a crap. That's all I have to say on that matter. Uh, for the traps, double bottomless, triple D-prison, triple skill drain, triple compulsory, uh, mirror force torrential, double starlight road, double call the haunted, and triple hero blast. Um, just pretty much all standard stuff, really. Um, I guess the compulsory is my tech choice. A lot of people would run a 42 and they wouldn't run the compulsories. But the compul compulsories are really good. They get rid of gachi gachis, they get rid of synchros. Like, in, in my... In playing people, it got rid of. I, I know in one game it got rid of a Gachi Gachi, and in one game, like at the very end of the game, it won me the game because I had a reborn. I, I had reborn Tangu, and he and he had two monsters, and he used Power Fusion. And I played compulsory for game, and it was just like it was like bullshit. Um, so I know it won me probably two games to be honest, at least that. So compulsory is a very good card. Um, if I did run more monsters, what would I run? Uh, if I did run more monsters, I would run probably like an ocean, something like, something like that. You know, more advantage to the heroes. But I really don't know, because these were the base monsters I wanted. Um, I'd probably run TKR. Honestly, I'd probably run two TKR and an ocean, just to bump it to uh, 14 monsters. Um, if I did run more monsters, but I didn't need them, because I had Double Call, the Haunted, Hero Blast, Monster Reborn. I mean, Jesus, people, you really need that many more monsters? I always said monsters anyway. Um... But the the dual videos will speak for themselves. Now, this deck is anti-meta. But the good thing about this deck is it's meta also. Now, in my playtesting, I didn't use any exceeds or synchros or anything. Now, I did that for a reason, to prove this deck doesn't need them. You can play this deck just as is and win against people. Now, obviously, exceeds monsters like Utopia and Utopia Ray and... This is the one I was telling you about, uh, Shock Ruler, um, Counselor of Colors, for when I said Master of Colors, and everyone's like, what the fuck is that? And, well, there it is, you, you can read its effect. Uh, three level four monsters, once per turn you can detach one XYZ material from this card to declare a card, monster, spell, or trap. Neither player can activate that type of card until your opponent's next turn ends. So it's kind of fucking bullshit. Um, when that comes out, gadgets will be freaking godly. But anyways, that's not the point. Point is, in this deck, I didn't run any in the playtesting because I wanted to show you that 
you didn't need the exceeds in the synchros to win. Now, obviously, you want to try and get some stardust for your Starlight Road, so you get a free plus off that, and you want some exceeds so you can go into Utopia and steal some Roach and stuff to get some more control. So, I mean, that that's all obvious. But at the same time, I kind of... In the very last game I played, I might have gone into exceed, but for the most part, I, I wouldn't want to because I, then I couldn't Gemini Spark. So or hero blast. So I mean, I I probably wouldn't even gone into an exceed to be honest. But it, it's good to have the option if you need it. So this is pretty much the deck, and now we'll jump into the dueling part of this. Cause I know you guys can't wait for that. 